we are all really uh, high achieving athletes in high school and in club and I think coming in I was expecting to do the same mm -hmm. and then you come in and you fail a lot. So I think um, for me it was just learning how to deal with failure and how that takes a toll on the athlete and um, taking lessons from those minor failures that you're going to experience throughout your college career. I let me follow up on that for a second. Because again, I think for the most part, I'd say probably 98% of those of us got from high school where we were all pretty good, and we get into college where now we're with a lot of people who were also all really pretty good. good. Yeah. And some of them were even better. Yeah. 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 And that first lesson is, is failure. You, mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you, know, you, are, you are not the top one, the top billing on the marquee. So what would you say, playing off of that message, what would you say to somebody who is, who is coming out of high school, mm -hmm. coming into college, and they say to you, yeah, you, know, I, you play, you, know, you, you, you had this great career, and what should I be worried about, and how should I handle it in terms of this notion of, you know, failure might be a strong word, mm -hmm. but it's certainly something that can encapsulate the experience to some extent. What's the advice? I think that I would tell them to just trust themselves um, and where they've been and where they've come from and know that you've taken steps to be where you are, so you're there for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, so again, failure happens, but knowing that you're going to learn from it and you're going to take something from it and grow from it, mm -hmm. I mean, that's all you can really ask for.